A little bit of background about today's event. My name is Barty Stanger, President of Binghamton University, but for the next uh, few minutes, I'm the Regional Co-Chair of the Southern Tier Regional Economic Development Council. Uh, because every region of this state is different and require different strategies to be, to be successful. The Southern Tier Regional Economic Development Council is comprised of community and business leaders from right here who understand this region and know what we need to be successful. Since 2011, more than $322 million has been invested through 573 projects, resulting in more than $1.9 billion in investment into our region. One highlight includes our 2015 award, winning plan for the Upstate Revitalization Initiative, which was awarded $500 million, I like saying half a billion dollars, <laughs> by Governor Cuomo to support what we call the Southern Tier Soaring Plan. A major part of that plan was to build the Greater Binghamton Innovation Ecosystem, which focused on developing three innovation districts, or I-districts. Since then, transformative projects have been supported by the Southern Tier Regional Council in the Binghamton, Endicott, and Johnson City districts, such as, in the previous years, the Decker School of Nursing and College of Health Sciences, the Century Sunrise Apartments in Johnson City, in Binghamton, the ANSCO Camera Factory Revitalization, and the one North Depot project in an Endicott district, the Next Flex Research Program, and Imperium 3, the battery uh, manufacturing facility at the current campus. Now I'd like to introduce Lieutenant Governor Kathy Cuomo, who will give you some more details about the program. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Great day for the Binghamton greater metropolitan area. We just allocated $2.5 million uh, down the road a bit for a uh, continuation of our clean energy competition, which uh, had award winners coming as far away from Dublin. So uh, they will now be finding the Southern Tier as their home and creating new jobs and opportunities. So uh, so it's a good news day all around here. Uh, first of all, Harvey Stanger, I want to congratulate you on the great work that you've done as co-chair of the council as one of the, the still standing original members who really helped design a vision for this community. And when we first started the regional councils, you weren't quite sure how, they're, how successful they're going to be, whether you get everyone to play nice together in the sandbox. Because for a long time, counties and academic institutions and businesses all were in a competitive mode. But competition is good in some senses, but not when you're limited in a, when you're in the same region together. So to be able to pull together as a region, not just a particular county or particular school, really has made a difference and a large reason why you were so successful in winning the uh, Upstate Revitalization Initiative of $500 million. So, so I want to congratulate you on that as well. Also, uh, our county executive, uh, you as uh, one of the leaders of the task force put the working group put together, uh, have just been a, done an incredible job with your entire team, and I want to congratulate you on the work you did to, to identify and put forth really tangible projects that will be transformative to individual communities, and that's what's so exciting my great partner in state government, Donna LaParta, to make sure that this funding is in place. Uh, she is a strong voice for economic development dollars coming to her district, and uh, you can see the results, which will be announcing very shortly. Uh, and our mayors, uh, I come out of local government. I was a local official for 14 years, so uh, so our, our great mayor of Binghamton, Rich Davies here, thank you, Rich. That is, my, he was already peaking at one time. <laughs> uh, mayor Dealey from Johnson City, so great to see you again. Uh, mayor Bertoni from and all the working group members who put your heart and soul into this project. <coughs> so here we are, uh, an opportunity that was given by the governor to have targeted funding sources for not just the big scale projects that have the big wall factor, but individual community projects that change the landscape one block by one block.
We're, we're here with Mayor Dini. We want your reaction to today's meeting and satisfaction. And, uh, I'm totally thrilled with the projects we've been awarded uh, funding for. It's a lot of great projects. So we're looking forward to getting going on these projects to be able to bring them to fruition. Continue our revitalization of the village of Johnson City. It's been uh, long in coming, and this has been a lot of a lot of hard work. I mean, I really have to thank our grant writer Dave Corba, who's put a lot of time and effort to get us to this point, and a lot of work into these projects. But as I said, there's been a lot of behind-the-scenes things. Uh, I can't thank everybody enough for where we are today. So, 